On the 14th of September, year 2000, Microsoft Windows Me was released to the world. 20 years later, on September 14th, 2020, marks its 20 year anniversary. At the time, Windows Me was considered to be a useless operating system since everybody had recently switched to Windows 2000 and were not keen on upgrading just a few months later. So it became a redundant OS and nobody liked it anyway. But was it really that bad? Well, that's what we're going to put to the test today. Let's get started. I'm going to be using my Compaq Armada 110, featuring a Pentium 3 running at 800 MHz. This is a good computer to put Windows Me on, and it was actually designed to run Windows Me too, as you can see from the little Microsoft sticker down here. You may recognise this little Compaq as being the one I restored a little while ago on my channel, and you would be correct, this is indeed that same Compaq. It's a really cool little laptop, and I think it's really good for this, since it was actually designed to work with Windows Me. I think a good starting point would be to power up the laptop to see if it even still works. So let's go ahead and do that now. There we go. Pressing the power switch, and what do you know? It actually fires up. That's really cool. And yeah, we have Windows 98 installed on it at the moment, but we're gonna change that and install Windows Me. I have my original compact restore discs here, which feature Windows Me on them. So this is what we'll use to install Windows Me. I'm also not gonna be erasing the hard drive, simply upgrading from 98 to me. I don't really know if you can consider it an upgrade though, since most would consider it a downgrade. Nonetheless, it's the 20th anniversary, so let's try it out. As you can see here, we've just about booted into Windows 98. There we go. And we're presented with that lovely Windows 98 startup sound. That's awesome. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and close that and move on with the install. Windows Me came with two disks, disk one and disk two. My compact disks are specifically two disks, but I don't know about the full OEM release. That could potentially just be one disk. But these compact restore CDs come on too. It must be for drivers and stuff, cause I don't know. But yeah. Who knows, maybe there really were two CDs in every Windows Me installation. It's a big annoyance to have two CDs, since you basically can't leave the computer unattended, since it could ask you for the next CD at any point in time. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and put the CDs in now. I'm going to start with disk 1 here, so I'll just take it out of the little CD case, and then we can go ahead and put it in the Compact's CD drive. Just like that. I don't know how much of a quick restore this will be, since it basically needs to install the OS. But anyway, let's try it out. I can hear it spinning up, which is generally a pretty good sign. And we're greeted with this. Hmm, yeah, we speak English, all right. To restore the operating system and all compact pre-installed software, your hard drive, exit this program and then restart the computer. Alright, so it looks like we need to do a restart if we want to install Windows Me. So let's go ahead and perform that now. And there we go. We're now booted into the setup for Windows Me. Let's go ahead and click next. System recovery CD restores stuff. Yep, we're, we're gonna restore it. Neat. Yep, we're connected to the AC power adapter. We couldn't not be. Oh no! Your operating system language is 
not supported by the C C D. Um that's a bit weird. Alright, now we're in a DOS prompt. Uh, maybe it's conflicting with Windows 98 since it's a DOS operating system and Windows Me is not DOS. So let's try and format the C drive. So format and then C. And we're going to use the slash Q parameter here. This basically just means quick. So yeah, let's just do a quick format of the C drive. And look at that, see, with quick formatting enabled, it makes it so much faster. And we'll just enter a volume label. And there we go. And we're back. All right, so first of all, we're prompted with this manual to select our language. We're gonna use English in this case. Hopefully it works this time. I mean, I don't see any reason why it shouldn't, you know? We've already formatted the hard drive. So there's really nothing to go back to. And what do you know? It seems to be working. It must have been that it didn't want to upgrade to me from Windows 98. Maybe it's a sign. Who knows? Now we just click next. Since we have our AC adapter plugged in, we're going to format and restore. And yep, that looks all good. Uh-huh. Yep, we really do want to format the already empty C drive. There we go. Uh, making petitions. And what do you know? Formatting C. This is going to take a while. And would you look at that? We're just about done. 100. There you go. Back to 99 for writing out the allocation table. And before you know it, boom, we're on to restoring the operating system. Restoring the OS seems to be taking a while, but it doesn't seem to be taking as long as formatting the hard drive, so hopefully it'll go by pretty quick. Alright, so now it is asking for CD2 at exactly 50% too, which I think is really cool. So let's go ahead and grab that now. Disk 2 is going in. And then we just press OK and 50% and counting. And what do you know? We're at 98%. The restore CD is finished. And yeah, and then we'll just click OK. And now it's time for a reboot. Um, press the enter key to continue. Yep. Oh wow, I love that little drum symbol. It's the software is being installed, more like the bloatware. Though I don't recall this computer's OEM disks having much bloatware on them from when I installed Windows 98 last. As a matter of fact, I've never actually used Windows Me before. We're greeted to this lovely stretched compact logo also. <laughs> that's funny. Now we have to go through the sequence of it installing all the drivers and stuff. And what do you know? We get the Windows Me. Huh. <laughs> wow. Windows Media Player, Net Solutions for Business. Oh. Software is being installed again. Gosh, when are we going to get to use Windows Me? Again with our lovely stretched compact logo. And it looks like it's installed the display driver. Oh, would you look at this, a lovely startup screen. I've never seen this on Windows before. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Microsoft Windows. What? I'm available to assist you in this one-time process. <laughs> well, um, Merlin's voice, um, certainly isn't the best. <laughs> You know what? We we need some help, so let's let's press F1. How can I help you? Oh, ah, oh, gosh. Tell me what to do next. Wow, well, this speech synthesis was pretty primitive, I must say. 
gosh, we've come a long way. This must have been around the time when they were boasting Clippy or whatever. We need some help, Merlin. Um, tell me who... Tell me who to call for assistance. Let's... Because I don't know how to verify my settings. So let's see who I can call for assistance. Oh. Well, um... <laughs> that, that's, that's very helpful, Merlin. Let's just go ahead and restart. Well, this is, um... This is some real primitive stuff we're dealing with right here. I mean... Gosh, <laughs> we sure have come a long way, that's all I'll say. And we're back in Windows Me. Yes, I accept Microsoft's agreement, and I have totally read all of this fine print. Yeah. No, I don't want to register. You have to register enough to Microsoft, gosh. Oh, well... Oh. Oh. Oh, well, um, Merlin. Well, wait, no. Click finish. Oh, and the cursor's not working again. First impressions of Windows Me overall, um, it's alright. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, let's click finish and are we going to be finally greeted to the desktop? I suppose Microsoft were really trying to push to home users at the time and they were trying to cater to them and make it as easy as possible to do stuff. I suppose it was all about similarities too. People didn't necessarily know how to add more RAM for example but if you had an assistant telling you like that I suppose it makes it easier. Anyway it appears as though our beautiful installation of Windows Me is finished. Let's see what games we get. Ooh, pinball. Yes. Alright. <laughs> so we get some space pinball on this thing, alright. Wait, what are the controls? Ooh, Windows Media Player. What's this? Well, obviously Windows Media Player, but let's see. Oh yeah, I should probably go ahead and take out that. Alright. I had to mute the audio here because it was playing copyrighted music and I don't want to get a copyright strike. So yeah, but just imagine some music. Alright, what do we what do we have? Um alright, we only have one song from the year two thousand. And it appears that we only have yeah, one song. Let's see what skin chooser is. Ah. So it was a much bigger deal to make programs look all 3D and stuff back in the 90s than it is today. These days programs aesthetics are really simple and 2D, whereas back then the realer it looked the better. I don't know what you could compare this to in terms of realty, but yeah, I suppose. Like, and, you, and this is the 2000s, you know, so you had some pretty crazy kind of... Um, things at the time. Um, but let's see what the Win Me one is. Oh, yes, we need that. This looks like a kid's version or something. <laughs> and <laughs> there's our um, lovely Windows Me media player. Yikes. Um, let's, let's leave media player. MSN Messenger service. Oh, wow. MSN Messenger. Yikes. Get a pass? Oh no! You need a Microsoft. Oh, wow, that's a shame. We're we're gonna save MSN for another day. I we also get a copy of Norton Antivirus. Overall, Windows Me looks pretty pretty much the same as '98 or 2000, except it runs on um an NT architecture rather than DOS. I can't necessarily say that I recommend Windows Me when building a vintage machine, but I mean, it is pretty cool either way to go back, and it is now 20 years old officially, as of the 14th of September, which is really cool, you know? Windows Me, it has got a few bugs from what I can tell, but it's honestly just another Windows OS, 
We can't really try it out on uh, with games or anything since this computer has basically like terrible clone chips of stuff. But I mean, you know, for just using it, Windows Me is actually pretty fine. You really don't need much. Uh, yeah, let's click view the entire contents. Alright, let's see what documents we got. My pictures. Ooh, we get some sample pictures. Yes. Wow, that's a cool photo. I always love these early 2000s photos that are digital. Um, let's see if we go to the next photo, which is diagonal sand. Wow. Um, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Iceberg. Wow, that's a, that's a nice photo right there. Well, that's about it for this video. We've done a brief overview and installation of Windows Me in celebration of its 20th anniversary. This video has been a bit more of a laid back one. So, I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, yeah, Windows Me is now 20 years old, which is crazy. It's, it really doesn't seem that old, even though it kind of looks the same as Windows 2000. I don't know. Maybe Windows Me was just a version to cater to the home market, whereas Windows 2000 was mostly aimed at servers. Who knows, really? Anyway, that's about it from me, and I'll see you next time.